Round the Way Podcast, checking in your boy BZ. Got a special guest? Yep. Your boy Merck, you know what time it is. You see who we got tonight. I'm, you ain't the special guest, man. <laughs> you just f***ed up the podcast from the beginning. See, I got the fact of show, so I know how this goes. You know, yeah. He, did, he set it up. up. We he threw it up. up. No, we're going to leave it in. Yeah. He threw it up. That's how I'm supposed to come in. And God's great paper shade. It's your boy, Troy Ab, y'all. <laughs> Round away it. podcast. But you just that came in to the whole shot. Oh, God. But it's all good. Introduce oh, yeah. yourself, Let's man. try that again from okay, the top. Let's try it again. Round away podcast. The boy, BZ, checking in. I got my... He said, I say Come now, we, and we got, no, you supposed to say now, we got a special guest, and then that's what I, why that's you, my cue. Why am I nervous right now, man? <laughs> that's my cue. <laughs> Let's go. Round the Podcast, your boy BZ, checking in. I got a special guest from New York, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. No other than the boy. Chill, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm here live in, in, in the flesh. God is great in the paper straight. You know what I'm saying? We got another special guest right here to my left. <laughs> <laughs> your boy Bert, they already know. Very special, baby. Pat, special club, baby. On. Yeah. It on. <laughs> he the only one who don't got designer shades on, but it's okay. It's okay. So it's okay. It's okay. So like he didn't break the chain. It was one, two, and then you. It was one, two, and then you. You got the shades on. Somebody got to be f***ed up. No, he want to be the least singer no, of the pass, group. Pass the oh, yeah. or something. He yeah. want to be Bobby Brown. <laughs> he want to be the least singer of the group. But I we in the correct. background because we dark skin. Yeah, yeah. That's the bullshit. Uh, hey, yeah, you uh, like skinny nigga Ralph Chasman in the front of this shit. Nigga starting to f*** it up. What's up, man? My yeah. nigga Troy, what the f*** are y'all talk? Hey, come on. We entertain the f*** sometimes. So what's Facts. good, Troy, man? How you been, dog? I been good, man. You see, I got my Whatever this is called in the shades. Yeah. I feel like on the white surfers that don't give a f*** nothing. They just be surfing and just be enjoying life. That's what's up. You got to have a certain type of, like, carefree attitude to be surfing. It's sharks in there and shit, like... That's some shit you get up and just do. So I just, I be trying to look as like, you know how I, you know how the white people, like the actors in Hollywood, they be mad rich, but they wear dirty trucker hats yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I be trying to, I just want to chill. You just want to be different. Yeah, I just want to be relaxed. I don't want to, I be trying to break the cycle of the shit that we used to, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got All you. the time. Like example, like what? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, like example, I go golfing. Yeah, I go fishing. Yeah, some different. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, dip, out of different the ordinary. Shit. Yeah, just yeah, not, just not going to club, the regular old. Oh, you know? I, I I look at that like outside activities. So, really, who's being unprofessional? I hear a phone. No, <laughs> all right, but like just outside activity. Because what we don't realize is that when we outside, we just outside. We enjoy being outside. Whether we chilling on the block and we having some drinks or some shit outside, yeah. we just enjoy being outside in fresh air. Mm-hmm. You get the same feeling when you with your peoples and you on a golf court. We ain't really golfing. We drinking and Bobbing. smoking yeah. the whole day, yeah, and chilling, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we outside, and instead of the concrete floor and building, yeah. and smoke fume and people beeping and. Yeah, we just out in fresh air, and green grass, like real nature, earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I and see. they leave you with a different energy. Real and shit. And I see you moving too. Cause I seen you in the spot. I'm like, yeah. My, you my see boy, me in the fight? Yeah, you my see boy, My boy to fight. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I frequent, that, things like that. Yeah. I frequent mm-hmm. flight, Some fights. Yeah. And I, and I don't just go to the, to the big fight. Like we always sit on the floor. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. always sit on the floor, whether it's New York, uh, Las Vegas, uh, LA. LA. Yeah, come on, you know it. We sitting on the floor because like other people, you got us, we, we the brothers, then you got the others. Others, mm-hmm. they they spend their money on quality of life. We spend our money on clothes and mm-hmm. bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That we spend our money trying to impress others. People. They they spend their money enjoying it. Like, you'll memories, see. Memories. You feel me? Yeah. You see them with their kids. Yeah. Uh, Broadway plays, like that. You know what I'm saying? And them, you see them at sporting events, basketball games. It don't really be a lot of us. Unless it's like celebrities or some Some like, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I look, I see. This kid and his daughter who you know don't give a on basketball Whoa. and you start counting man ten thousand dollars on tickets. Oh sh but if I had ten thousand dollars, I'm gonna go get do this or good. that. It's some bull some before bullshit. I would have. Yeah, yeah, in my younger days too. I probably went to a strip club, it's some stupid. Oh man, come on, and not even record it. So it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. Don't waste your money on strip clubs, man. You gotta tell you say, listen, baby. You want to get the money from me or you want to get the money with me? And depend on her answer and you make your decision. Yeah, facts. If she says she want to get the money from you, you know she ain't about 
If you could stand it, if it's a, all right, how much this gonna cost me for the night? All right, boom. I'ma just, that's gonna be the last time you see me. Yeah. Oh, you get the money with me, then that's, those is, these, is, we need people with substance in our life. Substance. We need more assets and less liabilities. Mm -hmm. And that's down with people too. To Dope Boy, Troy, I wanna go back to the beginning. My name man. is Scott Free. Scott Call Free. Call me Scott oh. Free. Free <laughs> 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 Yeah. I ain't so, just sitting there. Let me show. I want to bring it back to when I first ever heard of BSB. You know what I mean? Bricks in the backpack. You know what I mean? That was like I think like volume one or two. I probably caught mm. winning, caught winning that. I'm like, yo. I told my homeboy right here to the left, like, yo. Yeah, you put me on. Him. Yeah, this yeah. This yeah. Is going different. Yeah, you and did. Then the next thing too, you know, I'm a G and a Fifty fan, and mm -hmm. I seen that little Fifty, and I see you had. Yeah, yo, bang yeah. later on. Yeah, on that's a fact. The Nori on that album. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I'm moving. So I kind of seen your growing from the beginning. So I want to go back to like, what made you start rapping? What made you get back into rapping? Like, <coughs> um, what made me start rapping was and put your all into it. To actually, like, you know, I'm gonna be a rapper. At first, it was like a from my neighborhood had got some money rapping. He ended up getting a record deal, and um, he was he was talking about like he was talking about some street, shit, and I'm looking like, you know, I'm supporting, shit, and I'm like, man, I be really living this street, shit, so. Imagine if I try and talk about it, you know what I'm saying? And like, once I seen, I think he caught like a deal for like 120,000 or some Yeah. So I'm like, this caught a buck 20. I'm saying, hey, you know how much eight bowls and dimes I got to like sell to get 120,000? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I started like doing a little bit, like taking rap more seriously. But the, the main first thing that got me in the studio was, um, Shout to, shout to my man Nicky. So I had a homeboy, his name was Royal, and um his brother, his brother had he was like getting into entertainment, starting labels and management, all kind of shit, and they built the studio. Shout out to a nigga named Latik too, Latik from Brooklyn. And they was making beats and and they had a studio. Latik beats was corny as shit. But he was like my raps was kinda weak when I first started, but he got better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was all working and growing yeah, together. Was growing type crap, shit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So anyway, I'm talking about this like a real studio on some old. You know, how you got the, uh, the 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 filter for the mic, like mm -hmm. the protect mm -hmm. stocking cap on the filter. Yeah. I'm talking about roaches that are crawl inside the joint. You know what I'm saying? Inside the booth, it's real life. Yeah. So um, I'm getting damn. You just took me back today. You got light it right here. Don't worry Sorry. about it. Yeah, good. So um, like. Me and um Royal and a couple of other our homeboys, we was running the streets and shit. And then we in, it ended up being a situation and um Royal ended up getting locked up and he got locked up. It was like attempted murder and, and um we all could have got locked up. But you know it it by the grace of God, yeah, I ain't get jammed up, you know what I'm saying? And so so basically, you know, we doing what, what real Supposed to do or what we thought supposed to do. Your man get locked up. You show up at the court and you come with, with whatever money you got and you try to bail him out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's how. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, how. That's how I you go, know what I yeah. mean? That's how it's supposed to go. We get there to the spot and we outside the court. I'll never forget. It was nighttime court when it happened. Nighttime court and um, Roy was like, "Yo, uh, no matter of fact, his brother Nikki is like, yo, yo, y'all here doing all this dumb shit, mm -hmm. bullshit. Now my little brother going to jail for life. Mm -hmm. You're out here." Like, you better get in the studio. Stop wasting your f Like, he basically did some scared straight shit with mm -hmm. us. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never been in, that situ been in that situation to know, like, you know what I mean? Like, this wasn't the end. You feel me? And I'm thinking, like, damn, I, I didn't got away with some I don't want to waste my life. How old you was? Yeah, I how was old you was like at that time? I was probably, like, 16, young 17. Man. Yeah, we was doing both from, from kids. For, it, it was stupidity, though. You know, it was really by choice. We ain't have to do it. It was just like the law of the streets. You feel me? Yeah, that's being a young. I'm glad you. Yeah. I'm glad you said that part. Real shit ain't yeah. like I grew up in yeah. poverty and I had no choice. You know what I'm saying? I just I really wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I'm going. I'm going to do the one two. And um, so he says, "Yo, my, my man's going away for life." So just to appease him, we we went in the studio. We stayed in the studio for three days a week, however long it took, right? And then. My man ended up getting out of jail. Mm -hmm. His pops paid the person who got, who the attempted murder was on. Mm -hmm. He paid him and he came out of jail. So that lesson told us absolutely nothing at the time. Uh -huh. He got away with it. 
slap on the wrist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not even. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, nothing. Yeah. So, but what it did do is it got me in the studio really working in and like taking it seriously for that week. So we went right back to running the streets or whatever. But at that time, at least I had like work. Now I'm running the streets and I got recorded on CDs and I'm mm -hmm. playing it for the homies. And yeah. it was like, yo, yo, you good, whatever, whatever. And so that, that was like the beginning of me getting into the music.